I was a young kid when a friend told me she had seen a green flash. Wow, could there really be a green flash after the sunset? It seemed more a myth than a fact. But with improving technology and internet, the myth was gone. The name is misleading. It's not really a flash. The light does not get brighter and nothing happens with the horizon or atmosphere. The only thing that really happens is that the sun turns green right before disappearing. Judging by my collection of green flashes here, one could conclude it's not that rare and very real. So what happens? Remember those light waves? When they enter a different density, for example, air to glass, short wavelengths bend stronger than long wavelengths. Best seen using a prism. The light spectrum is revealed. In a prism, the light refracts two times, when it enters and when it exits, resulting in an extra-wide dispersion of colors. The further away you go, the wider the dispersion. This color dispersion also happens when light enters Earth's atmosphere. But very subtle, not visible to the naked eye. You need to zoom in quite a lot to see it. Even more than this. Now we're getting somewhere. And there it is. The prism effect in the sun. But where is blue? And violet? Well, these shorter wavelengths are scattered by the atmosphere. That's why the sky is blue. And because of this scattering, blue light cannot travel as far through the atmosphere as red. And the color in between, green, makes it through sometimes. So the green flash is simply the last light. The rest of the disk is so bright that it outshines the rim until the very last moment. To the naked eye, it's a bright small dot of light that suddenly turns green and then quickly disappears. This is an inferior mirage, something that happens when the sea is warmer than the air. Very common here in the Netherlands. That last bit of green light is often reflected by this mirage, which increases its size and brightness. That's also why many green flashes seem to hover. Clean air and a mirage are not a guarantee for a green flash. The air can be too turbulent and mix the colors. extremely rare situation where a slice of sky is stretched out by an atmospheric temperature gradient, like here, the green flash could have a visible shape to the naked eye. For a green flash you need very clean air. Sometimes it can even look turquoise, meaning there was still some blue in there. So, by pushing the camera's white balance, I present to you the blue rim. And on the other side, the red rim. This happens to any light from space close to the horizon. The moon, for example. Venus, and sometimes even high 
distant clouds. And this is a blue flash. Even clearer skies are needed for this. But in all honesty, I have never seen a blue flash with the naked eye. But the camera can. Although there is a small chance you might see a green flash behind a distant cloud or ridge, by far the best place to look for it is open water with a free horizon. Don't stare into the bright sun, not until it's almost gone. And now, a bonus clip. To the naked eye, this green flash changed back to orange. The two bright dots are diffused hot air from two exhaust pipes of a ship behind the horizon. On the ship's side, the day ended later. Here you see the same phenomenon up close. And that's it for today. This channel is about everything and nothing. Feel free to look around. Oh. Not again. I missed it. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.